There have been remarkable developments in the ongoing war between Russia and Ukraine. The attacks we have seen and witnessed in recent days have started to bear fruit. The Russian Federation is facing a great danger. We will analyze the latest situation in our map reports in a moment. According to local sources, Ukraine's counteroffensive continues unabated in four sectors of the front line. There are reports that the Ukrainian army has gained control in some areas. So, what is the latest situation? Let's take a look at the developments with a map. The Pioneer continues to bring you the moment-by-moment -moment updates on the Russia-Ukraine war. You can subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications not to miss daily reports prepared by the Pioneer team and supporter team. Let's just start. Let's just start. Beautiful. Since when? Let's start, if you're ready, the Pioneer reports. Let's start our report with the developments that have been shared by the sources in recent days and caused a great panic in Russian sources. As you know, the Ukrainian army's counterattack was felt most... Let's start our report with the developments that have been shared by the sources in recent days and caused great panic in Russian sources. As you know, the Ukrainian army's counterattack was felt most acutely by Russia on the Zaporizhia frontline. The Ukrainian offensive in the region had caused a great wear and tear on the Russian positions. In our last reports, we draw attention to the Ukrainian armed forces operations in the area south of Priyodny and Rivnipil. According to unconfirmed reports, the Ukrainian army has managed to take control of one more area in the region. Let's analyze the area south of Rivnipil with the timeline. When we look at the last 10 days, you can see that the areas under the control of the Russian army are decreasing and retreating in the direction of Stromayorsky. In the past few days, several sources have reported that the Ukrainian troops have gained control of Stromayorsky. Although this claim was initially published by the Russian sources, as you can see on the map update, we can say that the Ukrainian army has largely dominated the center of Stromayorsky. Thus, the Ukrainian army has added a new one to its gains of the Zaporizhia frontline. Stromayorsky is an important point. As you know, the main goal of the Ukrainian army's ongoing struggle on the Zaporizhia frontline is to reach the cities on the Azov Sea's coast, especially Berdyansk, Melitopol, and Mariupol. As you can see on the map, Stromayorsky is an important route on the way to the goals of the Ukrainian army. In our previous reports, we told you that the Russian army has recently increased its pressure on the Ukrainian army in the area. The information about the situation in Stromayorsky, which initially appeared as an allegation, was confirmed later in the day with the statements made by the Ukrainian general staff. According to the daily briefing of the Ukrainian general staff, the Ukrainian army has largely taken control of the Stromayorsky line. The Russian armed forces, which took action to take back the positions they lost after the Ukrainian soldiers gained control on the Stromayorsky line, had to retreat by inflicting heavy losses during the operations carried out in this context. Let's continue our report with the other situation on the Zaporizhia front line. In the vast majority of the area captured by the Ukrainian armed forces so far, the areas of dominance continue to be maintained. Although the Russian army is trying to destroy these areas of dominance, the operations organized by the Ukrainian artillery units in particular do not allow the Russian army to do so. In a significant part of the Zaporizhia front line, the Russian army is making successive operation attempts to push back the Ukrainian troops. The Russian army, which attempted to attack at points such as Vasilivka and Pryodny, had to retreat with many losses during these attempts. Allegedly, the Ukrainian army's dominance in the region is still quite strong. Now let's comment on the latest developments on the Donetsk frontline in the light of the daily reports of the Ukrainian Defense Ministry spokesperson Hanna Maliar. As you know, the most notable clashes on the Donetsk frontline are taking place in Avdiivka. As you can see on the map, Avdiivka is almost alleged that Ukraine has inserted between the Russian positions. In war strategy, such protrusions pose a great threat. 
Aware of this, the Russian armed forces have been attacking the region for a very long time in order to clear this blotch in the region. In recent days, Russian troops have gained launched an offensive in the direction of Avdiivka. During the Russian attack from northeast of Avdiivka, the Ukrainian defense forces were prepared. Responding immediately to the attacks launched by Russian troops, the Ukrainian army fought a successful defensive battle. The Russian detachments dispersed by Ukrainian artillery were chased for some time by Ukrainian offense. Many Russian soldiers were neutralized during this chase. The clashes between two armies continue in the region, albeit intermittently. However, the Russian army, which was repeatedly attacked the region so far, has not been able to make any gains. Moreover, these attacks have not only caused troops losses for Russia. Just like Avdiivka, failed attacks by the Russian armed forces in the direction of Marienka have been reported by local sources in recent days. Allegedly, Russian troops launched an offensive at night to clear Ukrainian positions in Marienka. The Ukrainian defense fought with great determination in operations supported by Russian artillery. Ukrainian artillery first detected Russian artillery positions firing artillery shells at the Ukrainian positions in Marienka. Then, Ukrainian artillery shelled these positions. After the Russian artillery ceased firing, the Ukrainian infantrymen took action and managed to repel the attacks of the Russian troops. I will continue our report by analyzing the latest situation on the Bakhmut line. As you know, there are two important points on the Bakhmut line, the northern flanks and the southern flanks. We repeat this often, because the liberation of Bakhmut largely depends on the success of the Ukrainian armies on these two flanks. According to the latest reports from Ukrainian Defense Ministry spokesperson Hanna Maliar, Ukrainian troops continue to hold Bakhmut city center under pressure. The mobility of Russian troops in the area inside the city center has been largely neutralized. This situation provides a great advantage for the Ukrainian army's advance on the flanks, because the Russian troops in the Bakhmut city center cannot support the Russian positions on the flanks. Looking north of Bakhmut, we see that Russian attacks have increased in the direction of Perkhivka. Although the attacks have increased, there have been no visible change in the front line so far. Ukrainian positions in the area are still strong and resilient. Looking north of Bakhmut, we see that Russian attacks have increased in the direction of Perkhivka. Although the attacks have increased, there has been no visible change in the front line so far. Ukrainian positions in the area are still strong and resilient. Looking at the situation south of Bakhmut, we can say that the Ukrainian army is a slightly stronger position there. According to a spokesperson Hanna Maliar, the Ukrainian army continues its advance in the southern Bakhmut. Ukrainian positions in and around Klishchivka are still intact. It also seems that the Ukrainian army has a big advantage in Kurdomovka, south of Klishchivka. What do you think? How do you think the capture of Stromoyersky by the Ukrainian army will affect the course of the war? Will the deterioration, 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 will deterioration of the Russian army's positions intensify? How do you assess the Russian attacks on Avdiivka and the Ukrainian defense? When do you think the Bakhmut knot will be untied? We value your opinions, please share them with us.